Outstanding. Hello and welcome to another video. It's a boy Eldorado and Ting. Now in this video, I'm going to show you two sessions that I did some um, effects with autotune, compression, EQ, and a little bit of delay and reverb to create some effects for the ad libs in the song to give it um, a little bit more sparkle, a little bit more interest to the song and so forth like that. Now, without further ado, please do subscribe, hit the bell notification button, select all notifications so you can get notification as soon as the videos are posted. Now, um, I'm going to mute a few things in this session, like the lead vocals, I'm going to mute that, and I'm going to mute the background vocals also, uh, so we only can hear uh, the ad-libs here. And after we finish with this one i'll move on to a second one so you can hear what i did on the second song on the same instrumental uh no this is what it sounds like that's just part of it and this section of the song down here with that reverb delay through a like now, um, what I've done, let's move back to the first part of the song here. And I'm going to go to the process. Just move these up here. Uh, so you can see everything here. Now, uh, for this first section of the song, first I have um, auto tune on it, where this is the um, the rating speed that I use in the key and uh, input type of this particular vocal are the song overall and I have a channel strip here uh, with the lead vox preset and I pretty much leave it as is with a little bit of compression going on uh, let me mute the instrumental also and play it again and I have also filter freak on it to give it some effects. Um, let me mute uh, delay and reverb effect from it also, so you can hear what's really going on. Alright, so um, here on this last one, I have this swell guitar effect on it. So uh, for argument's sake that um, it is automated, so let me just let it be inactive. And you're going to hear the difference on it. It has no movement whatsoever on it. So for this last one, I, I added this um, resonant um, frequency movement to it, so it doesn't sound static as the first two. Now, what I've done with this also, I have busted out uh, to this track here, in which on this track, I have uh, the reverb on it with a very somewhat long um, reverb time clean character and the distance is not too close or too far with a wide stereo width <laughs> and the decay rate is as normal i can say it's a, it's a very large space so without the reverb this is what it um it actually sounds like so with the reverb uh this is the sound that you're getting adding a little bit more ambience to the song. Now, I have to be really be careful with um, these type of rev um, not these type of reverb to per se, but how I apply it within a track that already have reverbs in certain places here and there. Now, I have to keep these things under control and I have to uh, lower the reverb on the, 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 the lead track a little bit 
because the reverb here is going to make it a little bit more massive in depth and so forth like that so I have to keep on automating uh, the main reverb in this particular song uh, next I have on the chain is a limiter just to make it a little bit louder so this is without it and this is with it just to give it a little bit more loudness to it because it was really hidden in the song and you can hear the long reverb tails and so forth like that um, what I have here uh, 3 and 4 um, is uh, delay I have some really fast fast delay going on filter it a little bit with a, a little bit of analog sound 100% wet and I pull back on the, the output a little bit and you know pretty much leave it as is now I, I adjust it a little but there's a preset here special effects called telephone that's pretty much what I uh, that I did and it is as is same way so uh, it is a preset that I use here this is how it sounds without it and this is how it sounds with it so it adds some movement to the track somewhat it is not loud or audible so forth like that it's just that it giving it a little bit more movement in the depth that it already pushed in the speaker so it is very minor but it is doing something and also what I have here is this 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 piece of vocal down in this section of the in this section of the song I have a little bit of um, automation going here volume automation so I'm going to go to the waveform well, it's only in the front It have a very distinctive sound, a different distinctive sound from this. And um, the reason why I had, uh, use this approach is I had it up in this track before, but it didn't sound the way that I really needed it to be sound. And for that reason, I did it a little bit differently. Now, for the first plugin here is Auto-Tune. Put the retune speed to 100 with... Uh, our Vox preset and this is what uh, it, it doesn't sound with it Six. Six. and this is how it sounds with it Six. you know little course course in modulation modulation thing going on and if I turn off the other two plugins Six. you can hear it well pronounced but with the reverb it kind of um, flung it back more in the speaker so um, the modulation sound it, it kind of not so audible but it is still there and I have the compressor here I have a 6 to 2 ratio a very far somewhat fast attack and a very far a fast release time with gain and, and um, I'm smashing that vocal so I, I really wanted to sound whisper ish like but I want the whisper-ish kind of sound forced. So I compress it really hard. Six. Six. And with the reverb. Six. I pretty much copied the, the reverb from the previous song. It's just that I shelved off some of the, hard, the, some of the highs. And pretty much leave everything else as is. Being as the track is mono, the stereo width is going to fully mono. And I, the space, I kind of dial it back a little bit. And I, to, I took out some of the, um, somewhat of the low mids to mids uh, frequency here. Also, uh, I busted out to this track here, this ox tree here. And what I have on it is the reverb again um, with pretty much the, the, the same settings from the previous um, track. And I have... The limiter here to make it a little bit more audible in the song with the lead vocals and 
for this particular bus 7 and 8, uh, I have a delay here also, a quarter note delay with somewhat some feedback and little high pass and low pass filter with analog sound and this particular delay on with you know optimal output level and this is what it sounds like Six. and in context I'm going to play this section I'm going to play it in context so you can really hear here and here so I'm going to play the first section of this song here so you can hear it, it sounding really whisper but it has a lot of teal depth and so forth to it and here also this delay reverb sound like me a ring on skin clean burst if pussy tight now your pussy girl me a ring on me a ring on skin clean burst if pussy tight you want so you can hear the teal of the reverb down in this section also play it again without the lead vocal takes a while to dial down but it still add a little bit of depth to the song to let the song sound you know a little bit more interesting per se now i'm going to move on to the second song and this particular rhythm where i can show you a different process that i went through uh it's slightly similar to this one but um i took a different approach in which i didn't want the, the two uh ad libs to sound exactly the same um per se in the song so we're gonna move on to the next song on this particular rhythm. Now we are on the second song that I'm going to show you where I have made some changes to certain part of the song uh, to add more interest or you know just to make the song sound a little bit different from how I ordinarily would mix a song if it doesn't call for these type of effects processing. Now um, I'm going to mute a few stuff should have done so before I started so okay I guess um, that section is not working mix oh it is there but it was minimized so I'm going to mute the lead vocals the background vocals and the rhythm tr track so this section of the song and this section of the song also and another section of the song down here um, unmute this So I'm going to show you the process that I went through I, or how I did it to accomplish such sound. So I'm going to move these tracks a little bit closer. So these are two auxiliary tracks as seen. So I'm going to do this section first. First on the mono audio track I have Pro Q3 in which I use the phone preset that comes with it and I have auto tune on this track also with the, the key of the song that it's in and this is my auto tune settings here just to keep the, the the audio here in key of the song now I bust this out to bus 5 and 6 here where I have Pro R here with pretty much the same settings from the previous um, song 
and I also have a lim the limiter on it to give it a little bit more loudness because um, truth be told it's a double track here but I did want it to have the, 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 the lead and the double track there sounding two different ways instead of using the double track to kind of thicken up the, the, the lead track a little bit more I took a different approach in which I just use it as an effect bass part of the song to give it a little bit more oomph and what I've also done is add some delays some delay to the song add a quarter note delay a little um, somewhat uh, there's a lot of feedback going on and the amount that I push into it to show you the send return and this is the amount that I have going on for this particular track so this is how I came up with the song you can hear a lot of feedback there so if I turn all these two settings here this is how it sounds normally Rise up in the morning, we are fucker, we are easy stress. Yeah, yeah. with the telephone effect on it uh, turn on the limiter so it can be a little bit more louder closer to the, the mastered version Rise up in the morning, we are fucker, we are easy stress. Yeah, yeah. So I have to be very conservative with the, the, the reverb and delay sounds because I don't want it to muddy up the track too much. So um, for this section of the song now that I have some different effects down here, uh, what I did was I have auto tune on here but I have the ad lib settings from the, the my Dean preset folder. I have that there. Let me just bypass all of these and let you hear the raw vocals. And ever bless. Are we are using stress? So it, it is ordinarily a vocal, and what these un automation signify is um, volume automation, but this section here is panning. No, you are my preps. Yeah. Type, type. Let me just mute this track up here so it doesn't get confusing. So this just signify panning. So what I did first is just add the attitude. The second plugin is this Peacock plugin from Craig Song. I think it comes with attitude. That is so long I don't even remember where it came from. Uh, and I pretty much add some dynamic and a little bit of harmonic and I leave the div there off because it sounds really weird giving it a vintage sound where um, I think if I add the div on it it would you know sound a little bit more vintage like but I turn it off because it just sound really weird with it on so um, this is a vinyl emulation plugin to give the sound a little bit of vintage sound like back in the the late 80s early 90s where they were cutting dub plates on 45 and so forth like that you know they have that vintage sound so after that i added um this bomb factory 76 compressor and this is what it sounds with it on it no you are my preps So it's, it's getting pretty much close to it, but we are not there yet. I add a limiter just to get it sounding a little bit louder. No, you are my preps. Because I want it in this song to sound really audible. And I add some reverb also. And pretty much it's the same settings from the other song. It's just that I process a different way. The, 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 the signal flow. In a different way, so it sounds a little bit different. No, you are my preps. Yeah. Type, type. And 
I was going to take out this lip smack and so forth like that, but you know, it just did sound good at the time, so I'm just leave it. Anyways, I added a little bit of delay sound to it. As you can see, the same telephone um, delay effect. And I, this is the reverb, the, <laughs> that's the reverb, the send return um, amount on it. And what I forgot to mention is on the Pro R, it is not 100% wet. I kind of use the mix knob to get the, the sound that I really need. I could do a send return, but for this for, um, mix, I just slapped it on it. Adjust what I'm supposed to adjust and adjust the mix in which being as it's a uh, effect that I'm doing, I could do it like that. But if it's, it's a case where I was mixing the, 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 the lead song, I wouldn't have it like that on it. No, you have a yeah. yeah, and that is how I got that particular sound. So I'm going to play it in context so you can really hear. It sounds in context. Now your eye, girl, I'm a SBZ press. Tell her I'm a lover, girl, you know you want my preps. Yeah, 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 yeah. Girl, you're Ride, ride, ride. Girl, you have the nigga lie and the ever bless. Rise up in other mo. So that is how it sounds with it in it. And this section of the song up here. I'm going to play it also so you hear it in context. And the ever bless. Rise up in the morning, we are fucker, we are easy stress. Yeah, yeah. More like this this section of the song, it sounds a little bit more pronounced. My tighter than a handcuff, make me never book a girl. When my love so much, I'm if you tell your girl, me ya talk up, me ya tell her the truth from me, ya girl. Yeah, yeah. Girl, you know you. So there's a lot of reverb delays and other miscellaneous things that is being taking place in the song. And in another video, I'm going to show you how I do my reverbs and delays on a track here, like a pro. As you can see, it is very minimal. Not an extremely huge session like previous session that I've shown. But it's just the magnitude of this session. So what I did for make for making up in the song is adding uh, effects because I've gotten the track with a lot of ad libs and so forth like that. So I try to make the most of the vocals that I get in a track. For the most part, in most cases, it's just some artists that send me stacks of vocals while others just send me lead and endings. So I just, it just depends on the type of material that I've, I've gotten to work with. So I make these decisions based off the material and the request of the client that I'm mixing for. So it's not per se, it's every song that I'm going to do it for. But it's just decision making depends on what the artist wants. Because there are times when I add effects in a song. And the client or the artist do not like the effect. They said they just want it normal as is. And there are times when said artists and clients say, you know, add a little bit of if effects here and so forth like that. So thank you again for watching. Hope you really learned something from this particular video. Hope you, you, you can do it, you know, probably different from me, you know, because every song I try to do something different i do not always import the same set of settings to add effects because it does not work same way for every song so this is how i add my my effects um some of my songs there are other songs that i did it different ways but the, practically this this is two ways i can really get it done so without further ado it's a boy Eldorado. don't forget to subscribe hit the bell notification button Leave some comments to do below and smash that like button because it really do helps the algorithm to get these type of video to other audience. So please do smash that like button. Leave a comment below so I can know that you're watching this video also. So without further ado, it's about Elarada again. Peace out.